Okay, pharmaceutical companies and health agencies team up to try to fast track vaccines and therapeutics in the age of COVID-19. And now a Hendricks County mother wants the same in the search for a vaccine for type one diabetics. Amy Sampin has teamed up with Dr. Denise Faustman, the director of the immunobiology laboratory at the Massachusetts General Hospital. And they join us live thanks to Zoom to talk about this fight. Ladies, good morning. And Amy, I want to get right to you and talk about the, the why here and your passion and about your boys and what you're trying to do. Yeah, so um, I'm the mother of three sons. Two of our sons are type one diabetics. And so I've been on a mission um, ever since they were diagnosed over 20 years ago for there to be a cure. We were told that before they would go to college that there would be a cure. They would not go to college with the disease and now they are past college and they still have it. And uh, Dr. Mandy Harris, um, she was a NICU neurologist at Riley Children's Hospital. Um, she was a type one diabetic and this girl was a student of the disease and she studied and she knew her game and she knew Dr. Fossman. She introduced me to Dr. Fossman and the work that she's doing um, at the Fossman lab. Um, we, um, we champion what Dr. Fossman's doing. Ever since uh, the discovery of insulin uh, over 100 years ago, the, her discovery with the BCG vaccine is the most revolutionary discovery since then. And we wanna talk with the, the doctor now, bring you into this conversation. Denise, and tell us a little bit about this vaccine that you've been studying. And do you think that what has happened now with COVID and what the president has done to kind of fast track this, are you gonna be able to see any benefit for you and what you're trying to do? Yes, um, so the vaccine we're using is something that's very old. And when I say old, like very old, like over a hundred years old. And it's called the BCG vaccine. It was developed in France over a hundred years ago as a treatment for tuberculosis. But really over the last 10, 15 years, people started realizing this vaccine had additional health benefits. And our work traditionally has been the health benefits it brings uh, for blood sugar regulation and blood sugar lowering. Um, but along the way, we've also noticed it had uh, major protective effects against uh, various infections, including viral infections. And then over the last 10 years, there's about uh, 12 double-blinded placebo-controlled clinical trials uh, from all around the world showing that when you get the BCG vaccine, you're uh, resistant to uh, infectious diseases as diverse as malaria, um, leprosy, upper respiratory tract infections, pneumonia. So uh, we're very fortunate to have a supply of this vaccine that we're using um, in long-term diabetics to see if we can again prove it regulates blood sugar. And now, as you've heard on the news, it uh, is highly desirable to maybe protect people from COVID. So it's kind of a double hitter, uh, no pun intended uh, for the baseball crowd here. Uh, I have to look up what double hitter means in the baseball world. Absolutely, <laughs> ladies, I, the time goes so fast and we're actually out of time. And Amy, I'm gonna make sure that we put links up to both of what you guys are doing so that people can find information find out how they can try to promote being able to get this vaccine, if that's something that they choose to do. Awesome, thank you. Absolutely. Okay. Ladies, thank you. And again, fox59.com slash Angela Answers. Jim, the time goes so fast when we're doing these interviews, but really important that, you know, we're hoping that because of what other people are doing and using that maybe we'll be able to help in this case as well.